What's up guys? Today I wanted to talk to you guys about spending. So usually I have kind of a mindset that I don't like to spend. However, now that we're approaching the anniversary, if there's ever a, a time that you're going to spend, now is the right time to spend because this is where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Now before I get started, I am not affiliated with Amazon. I am not obviously not affiliated with Gumi or Square. I do not make money off of any of your purchases. I spend my money, you know, so I spend my own money. So basically what I'm trying to say now here is usually part of the reason that I don't spend my money is because I think a lot of the prices in this game are ridiculous. Um, and I get it. The game has to make money and there's people willing to spend the money. And you, something you have to realize is that the game isn't really priced for you. It's priced for the people that can spend a lot of money. So it's not really geared towards low spenders. I mean, yes, there are options to spend very cheaply. You know, they have the daily 60 viz per day stuff. They do have 60, 60 viz $1 bundles, or it may be different depending on your currency, but they do have a cheap option for people however most of the time they tend to control things so like usually everything is very expensive and is valued at more than what it's actually worth and then there's certain things that they just kind of feed you a little bit at a time and so as an example i think the good deals are like spending your daily dollar to get the let me show you guys what that is. The daily purchase bundles. I think those are really good in terms of value. <clears throat> and usually you get the most value out of them when you get to the $5 mark, which is here, day five. Um, so in this particular case, you can buy five shards of any unit, which is actually probably the best deal out of these, just because you can choose whichever unit you want. But it's usually the featured unit or the featured uh, vision card. I did it for the Helena card and the Helena card actually had, not only did it have a 15, I think it also had a 25. I, I might be wrong on that, but it was a much better deal than a unit shard. So I'm just kind of saying this because if let's, as an example, we'll go here into the shop. This is where I usually would buy a bundle if I was to buy any. You go into the special shop. But the problem is like usually these bundles to me are not a very good deal. So if you go in here, this $99 bundle, you get 6,000 paid viz. So if we're gonna say like approximate that a thousand paid viz is paid viz now, not just free viz, paid viz is worth $10. It's around $60 quote unquote worth of paid viz. So you're paying $99 and you're getting quote unquote $60 worth of paid viz. That, that's not actually the conversion. I'm just kind of saying that to make it easy. And then you get quote unquote $60 of free vizier. So this one that I clicked on is actually a pretty decent deal because you also get the uh, free vizier on top of the paid vizier. So, but if you think about it this way, you're paying $100 here for basically six 10 times summons which uh, i mean it's kind of okay, kind of okay it's actually like this is actually one of the better deals but if we scroll down here to like some of the normal i think they're at the bottom actually like this one for example for 80 dollars you're getting paid viz no free viz i mean you do get you do get the selectable ur ticket Granted, this is kind of out of date, but you're paying $80 for, again, made up currency here, $50 worth of viz, right? So you're getting $50 worth of viz, paid viz here for $80. <clears throat> and at the top one, you are getting, you know, 60 plus 60 paid viz versus free viz. So this is a better deal than what's down there. So kind of the reason why I wanted to show you all this stuff 
is I, I'm gonna go into let me actually I was gonna start here with the Amazon store stuff but let me actually go into this next deal here where this was the Black Friday deal this was one of the Black Friday deals and sadly I didn't take screenshots of everything but this is one of the Black Friday deals you're paying five dollars here for 800 paid vids quote unquote and if we're going by the by the made up currency that I made uh, 800 paid vids is quote unquote eight dollars so you're basically getting eight dollars worth of viz per purchase power for five dollars so you're essentially almost kind of doubling your your five dollars and getting eight dollars worth of paid vids so if we go to the next screenshot it's somewhat the same thing here you're getting 390 you're paying 399 which is four dollars and you're getting 610 so it's almost like quote unquote double i know it's 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 kind of 399 is not really three dollars so it makes it look like it's double but it's not really double but you're also not paying for half of what you're getting like i showed you in one of these bundles in the actual game so i'm i'm, I'm talking about this one bundle down here this one let's say right so, so I think this one's actually slightly different. But look, if we go back to the slide that I have here. On Black Friday. So this is a Black Friday deal. So this is kind of what I'm trying to point out here. On the Black Friday deal, you're getting a better bang for your buck. Granted, I know this is the $4 pack. But on Black Friday, there was other, you know, an $80 pack, a $40 pack, etc. And they all were kind of worth it. Quote, unquote, double it's not exactly double, but it's quote unquote double. It's, it's giving you more than you're, what you're actually paying for. So just to kind of reiterate. So here, this Black Friday deal, right? You're getting three Rainbow Vision Spheres and normally you'd get five. And you're getting one Fragment of Thought and normally you'd get two. For $80, you'd get two. And for $4, you're getting one. So let, let's say you were able to buy this pack twice. You'd be able to make more in terms of rainbow vision sphere and rainbow fragment of thoughts by buying two of those then buy you could probably buy <laughs> for the same price you could probably buy how much um about 20 of these deals for the same price and you'd get 20 <laughs> almost like 10 times the amount of materials here in terms of visitors so like again notice four dollars but you're getting 600 right and here you're paying eighty dollars and you're getting five hundred. So, if you like, it's it's like a quick. I'm the reason I'm making up this currency is to kind of make a quick calculation about it. So, you're making about half. And again, quick estimation. You're making about half of what you're spending here, and here you're making about double of what you're spending. So, my point is, now that the anniversary is coming anniversary starts tomorrow i am expecting to see deals like this maybe not black friday level because i remember for christmas around christmas and new year's they also had deals but they weren't quite as good as the black friday deals like these where i'm saying it's like double the value or half the value or whatever um maybe the the christmas and new year's deals I, again i don't have screenshots i i didn't take screenshots at the time but maybe they were more like, you know, 10% bonus, 20% bonus, something like that. Not close to 40, 50, or 60%. So that's one thing that I wanted to make sure to point out to you guys, because like I was saying, this, this, this game is designed for people who can spend a lot of money. So us people that don't really want to spend that much money on a game, or, you know, on a mobile game, this is our chance to get normal prices like these to me are the normal for these are the real prices right it's like when you're when you're on amazon and it says like you know this item costs 200 bucks and it, it's crossed off and it's like 30 bucks or something like that that's just kind of there to make you think that it's worth more but the 30 dollars is the actual price so that's kind of what i'm saying here like these black friday deals to me these are the actual prices of these products so continuing onward um 
I wanted to go back to this and mention here. Oh, this is a this is a, a separate one. So I wanted to mention here. Now, normally I don't recommend using Amazon. I don't like Amazon as a company. They don't really pay their workers well. You know, they've profited a lot during the pandemic and they haven't really given back to the people or to the world. So I generally, I don't really like, I don't order from Amazon anymore. If anything, I'll get something from eBay or I'll just go to directly to the website of whatever the product is. So I personally don't like Amazon. However, since they're kind of giving you a $10 credit here, I recommend that if you're going to spend just kind of, if you can install the Amazon app store tonight for the anniversary, I recommend that you try and spend if you're going to spend anything try to spend it on the amazon app store they did say that even if you spend one dollar you're going to get the ten dollar credit so the way i think it's going to work is after you spend your dollar or whatever it costs um you then get a ten dollar credit so you can purchase something that's worth ten dollars it's going to look like a normal purchase but it's actually going to be funded by this ten dollar credit so you kind of got to be careful there just to kind of make sure like you never know what's going on with these deals but actually let me go back and say even if you spend one dollar but it has to be one of the uh first anniversary packs that's what they said uh and that's what it says here on the screen purchase any of the applicable one year anniversary visual packs so i have an ios phone i will probably install the amazon app store on um, blue stacks and then install that version of War of the Visions and then maybe buy it from there. Uh, I also have an old Android phone, but the game doesn't seem to run. It always crashes out. So I'm probably not gonna try to do it from the phone. I'm gonna try to do it from Bluestacks. And I don't really know if it's gonna work from Bluestacks. I've never really bought anything, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. I mean, it, the Amazon store, I believe I have my account linked up to there, so it should work. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spend, I mean, I'll buy whatever I see fit and then I'll get the $10 credit and then I'll use that to buy whatever else. I, I don't really want to keep my money on the Amazon store. So I'm probably, by the time the anniversary ends, I'm probably going to spend it all or, you know, spend what I can get out of it and then come back to iOS. Um, they say that you can you can link your game to facebook and then to and then you know access it from the amazon store like that and they actually instruct you to delete your old copy of the game and i think you might have to do that just to have the the app installed because otherwise it will it'll kind of see the app as already being there i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i think you have to delete them delete your copy of the game at first but what I'm going to do is once I make my purchases and spend all my paid viz here on Amazon, I'm just going to delete the Amazon version of the game and come back to my iOS version. Keep in mind that your paid viz does not transfer between Amazon, Google Play Store and the iOS store. So you're going to see different amounts of viz if you log into each. If you have paid viz, your paid viz is going to appear only on that store, only on the version of the game from that store. So if you buy your viz in Amazon, it's only going to appear in your Amazon version of the game. If you go back to your Google Play version of the game, you're not going to see that paid viz anymore. So that's why I'm say saying I'm going to spend it as soon as I can. I'm just going to get rid of all of it. You know, if I have to buy things that are worth 60 paid viz or less, I, I don't know if that's even possible. I'm just going to spend all of it in one shot, then go back to iOS. I'm just trying to get my $10 credit and then bounce. The rest of my money I'm putting into iOS. Not that I think Apple's that great of a company, but I think they, they at least pay their workers better than Amazon does. And same thing for Google. I'm pretty sure they pay their workers better than Amazon does. So i'm gonna buy my stuff from one of those stores instead of amazon okay i think i've rambled enough in terms of the amazon i think that amazon is going to be a good deal at least in this instance but obviously they're paying out money because they want people to play on their uh, app store 
and then every time you make a purchase they make a percentage of that purchase so that, that's i'm just trying to be clear about what's going on there and why they're giving you like a free quote unquote ten dollars ten euros ten pounds whatever it is um so the next thing i wanted to talk about here was this is actually so okay let me actually close this slideshow for a second so here in the special shop if you go to the regular shop and then you click on the second icon here is that's the special shop that's where you find all the the gill the visual bundles right that's where the sales and bundles for the first anniversary is going to be so the other place you might want to check is up here in the visual so if you press this little plus sign here it's going to bring up this menu uh, so these are kind of like the normal general bundles that they have and they kind of refresh actually this this first one resets daily i don't think some, some of these refresh but for the first anniversary again they're gonna have more bundles here um i think they're gonna be about equivalent to these here but the difference with these here is that you can only buy them you know the amount of times that it says it's either one time or three times so some people might have already used this up and they, they don't have it anymore. So what's going to happen tomorrow is the first anniversary is going to have some bundles here. They may be the same price. I think they're likely going to be the same price as these. They may be better priced. So I would look at those and if they're better priced than these, I would consider those first. But even before considering any of these, I would probably look here and consider these because these usually come with like a bonus, like either tokens or like I was kind of showing before, you know, you get the JP eggs, you get the keys, stuff like that, or even like rainbow fragments of thought. And I'm sure it's somewhere there might be one for the tokens or maybe there isn't. But for example, when they had the Dwayne pack, the Dwayne tokens were in there. So this might be the first place you want to check so after you're done checking there you want to come up here and like i said you might get the same exact deals here in which case the only reason you're buying them is because you might have used these up or you don't you want to save these for when you really need them so but there might be one or two bundles that are actually a better deal than this there might be a, a 60 paid viz i used my 60 paid viz already because that one gives you the bonus 60 uh 60 free viz so i might I, I i usually try to save all of these but i i might have just bought it without even thinking and then the other thing that i want to make sure to mention is i usually buy the 30 day pack here so this this month i was actually late on it and i didn't even realize but during the black friday i think it was black friday it might have been during a christmas sale they had this th special 30 day limited value pack. So this one stacked on top of the normal one. So you were able to run both of them at the same time. So the difference here was the normal one costs, and I, I guess I can't see the price here, but I believe it costs $7.99 normally. And then this one here is $23.99. So for three times the price, so it's eight, 799 is 8 times 3 is 24 minus the 1 cent to make it look like it's a dollar cheaper. Um, for 3 times the price, you essentially get... Um, so I guess this was what I had at the time. You essentially get got 1470 free uh, paid vizier. So normally you get 490, right? So 490 round up to 500 times 3 is 1500 and then minus 30 is 1470 so in terms of paid viz you got the same amount for the free viz though normally i'm sorry i keep going back and forth but normally for this bundle you can't i can't really show you but if i go to my present log i can show you as i've been getting them um 30 day visitor pack Okay. Oh, it actually shows it right here. Visitor times 100, story skips your ticket times 5. So, normally you'd get 100 free Visitor. 
But here with this pack, you are getting 400 daily free Vizier. So I think this added up to like over 10,000 Vizier, which is like bonkers considering how much you're paying for this. This is basically three times. It's basically the same as the other pack, but you get a bonus 400 daily. So this is really the best deal. The only problem with this deal is that they make you wait 30 days. They spread it out over 30 days just to test your patience. And, you know, if you need like 2,000 gil right now, so it's actually 3,000, right? 100 times 30. Uh, so if you need 3,000 gil right now, you're not able to get it. So that's why they, they give you that much because they know that, hey, this person's not going to be able to use it right away. They're going to have to like ration it out. So with this one, though, they're giving you 400. And six, since it's stacked with the 100 that you get from the normal version of this, you are actually getting 500 fish here a day. So 400 times 30 would be 12,000, right? So with the normal one, you're getting 15,000 in a month. And, and that would be 500 per day, which is four days worth of that. You're, you're going to be able to do a 10 times summon. So that's to me is something that you should definitely check up here in the in the bundle section of the visual i don't even know what you'd call this uh, basically where it shows the royal rank and where you see the offer wall here in this section here kind of just make sure to check that just in case there's a bundle like that because i think that was a really good value and to me i was able to save like I, you see the 38,000 I have up there. I think part of the, the initial like big chunk of that was from this bundle. Like I was able to save like 10,000 and that really helped me along the way between like Christmas and um, like the February stuff, the end of winter, whatever, winter's end, midwinter, all that stuff. That kind of helped me have like a nice base of vision. So if I wanted to pull on anything, I could. I didn't really spend that much, but like, you know, I would, I would like buy Vizier, uh, shards from the shop with Vizier, stuff like that. It's good to have like that basis of, you know, like 10k, 20k Vizier when an event is going on because it's like you have a buffer. If you want to summon, you can summon. If you want to build a unit, you can just, you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to scrape together all this Vizier out of nowhere. So that's kind of my thinking in all of this um so again th that's just my thinking guys you can do what you want i you know if you don't want to spend don't spend for sure i know some people are like die hard free to play that's fine that's perfectly fine i'm just saying if you want a boost these are sort of my recommendations to kind of give you that boost and kind of be efficient with your spending now, aside from those daily purchases of, you know, a dollar a day, I generally don't really buy uh, visual bundles. I The first time I started buying them was Black Friday, and I bought, I probably did spend a good $50, probably more than that at that time, um, but it did go a long way, and I was very satisfied with my with what i got out of it granted it still took a lot of work in playing the game to get my shards and everything but i was very satisfied um i did buy the Dwayne pack but i didn't actually spend it on Dwayne. i i spent it on other stuff and that to me th that was like 40 something dollars but that to me was really worth it because i was able to max my kill fay i was able to get eldira to like lb4 uh i, I was able to max my Glacella. I forgot what else, but it was it was like super worth it for me at the time. Uh, and like literally, like on that note, I think I think that's enough advice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna as normal. I'm just gonna do my summons, so you guys can see what I get. And let's do that right now. And let's uh, see what we get. All right, guaranteed MR plus. So silver book is not that surprising. Let's see if it upgrades. It does not. 
and let's see if we get it in the last slot it we do so if this upgrades we get a guaranteed upgrade in the last slot probably not going to upgrade though let's see what happens chocobo i have that maxed so that's going to be mr magmanos for me let's keep it going here i'll take any kind of upgrade here for sure And so far, it doesn't seem to be happening. And no upgrades. Now, let's see if the last unit here upgrades or not. No, it doesn't. And we get Durando. So, Durando's good. I'm kind of wanting to build on him. So, that's actually not too bad. So, the video is not going to end there. I am actually thinking that I should do a YOLO poll here on the Dwayne and Fry Evia banner. So I've kind of been thinking about this and I kind of mentioned yesterday, since we're getting the barracks, it might be okay to pull a unit and, you know, not have any shards for them, not have, you know, the max level of shards for them and just kind of throw them in the barracks. I don't really have anyone that I'm really planning to throw in the barracks. I'll probably throw in Rob and whoever I need for the light raid. But in terms of limited units, most of my, like all of my limited units are maxed. So it'd be interesting to have another limited unit that's being worked on in the barracks. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to throw in 2000. 2000 is my limit because I want to save the rest for Final Fantasy X and future stuff. So I'm only going to do one pull, but I thought I would just YOLO it and do a pull. Let's see if I can get Dwayne or Fryavia. I will be super happy with Fryavia, but I would definitely like to get Dwayne as well. Um, so without further stalling, let's just get into it and see what we get. Brown book. Oh, silver book. Okay, so we have a chance of it upgrading and it is definitely a unit. So let's see if it upgrades here. No, it doesn't. So looks like it's all blue. Okay, there's an upgrade. Nothing too crazy here though. Okay, yeah, Ochu is not that crazy. Let's see if anything else upgrades. So most of these, I don't think it's possible for anything aside from the last one to upgrade to UR. So I don't expect any of that. And let's get to the last one here and let's see if it upgrades or if we're going to get our boy King Curry or maybe another Durando or Kadia or Mariluk. Those are my predictions. Let's see what happens. Love y'all. All right. So no Fryavia, no Dwayne. Can't do much about that. I wanted to give it one, at least one YOLO, so... Oh, at least we get 10 shards for somebody, so that's pretty cool. So we got Laviol, and we get 10 shards for somebody. I don't really know who I want to spend my shards on. Um, I might wait until tomorrow. I think it'll the shop should still be there until tomorrow. Yeah, we still have seven days on that. You know, of course, I could throw them into Dwayne or Fryavia or... Even Ruin Stern, I have 52 saved up from the daily and from the from the daily purchase as well. I think I might have spent like a few of them on Eldira before the raid ended. But other than that, I've kind of been saving them. So as you can see here, I still have to work on Ruin Stern. And I could probably come pretty close to finishing him. If I get 26, that's getting me to 183 which will bring me pretty close so that might be worth doing um i was thinking of maybe uh like throwing some into gilgamesh or throwing some into Dwayne, throwing some into you know just in case i pull them in the future uh i probably won't throw it into rob but that i guess that might be useful hmm what else and then, of course, I could take someone like Rain, and if I spend it tomorrow, I can get uh, Mind Spheres for him. But since Rain isn't really getting EX jobs anytime soon, 
I won't be doing that. Although, uh, Tlishella might be a good one. Ildira might be a good one. But again, most of these are not getting EX jobs anytime soon. So, I may just hold off right now. Maybe I'll look up who exactly is getting EX jobs soon. I know Stern is. I know it's Elday. I know Rob. And other than that, I think it's just MR and lower than that. And also, one other thing I wanted to talk about was to show that I... Oh, I grinded all this stuff here and I was able to get all the shards and that's kind of what I'm saying here for Dwayne. I have the Dwayne shards for Avia. I got some, some for her so I've kind of been saving so it's just like hey, if I pulled them I would have thrown what I had into them but that didn't happen so I guess that's kind of uh, for the future at some point. But here everyone else I kind of just still need the shards. Right, so nobody's really maxed here. Ayaka, I stopped exactly at LB4, so even though she has zero, she's not maxed yet. Um, and Laswell, I, I should probably, I think he's on LB0 right now, so this could be a good help to help to get him started. But in terms of Fina, I'm done with Fina, I'm done with Rain, and I'm done with Medina. So one character should cost 10,000, right? Two characters is 20,000, and then Fina is 6,000. So I have enough for tomorrow. When they activate the Mind Spheres, I will just get their Mind Spheres for them. I'm also thinking of sort of saving and, you know, farming even more metals and getting the Guild Snappers. And then I also want to get Dark Fragment of Thoughts. Light Fragment of Thoughts. Not in that order though. Uh, I already got the Dark Awakening Prisms, which I still need for Venera. And I need Light Awakening Prisms for Elsarel, Rob, and Thancred. I want to have them for the Diablo Raid, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to build them in time. So, I still want to buy these. So this is going to be another 5,000. So if I make 5,000 there, that's 32,000 32, total. And then these cost, I think 2,000? Oh, no, 400 daily. So if I get in um, seven times four of these, so 2,800, I should be able to buy them every day, which is kind of something I like to do, just buy the Guild Snappers. I think they're the most worthwhile thing to invest in when it comes to these mock shops. So. I tend to do that all the time. So 2,800 plus, what was it? Another 5,000 for the Awakening Prisms. That's essentially another, oh crap, no, I did not mean to do that. Well, that kinda is gonna motivate me to keep playing. So uh, those 5,000 that now I have to make back <laughs> and the 2,800, so that means I have to end up around 30,000 Mog Medals before tonight. I think we have like three hours before maintenance. Um, so I better get started on that. Um, let me see. I usually come here and check because it tells you in hours. So it's two hours. Uh, so it's basically less than an hour I gotta make. I'm at least gonna make, make it back to 26,000. If I don't, then I'm sorry, Fina. I don't need your... Uh, mind spheres that badly. All right, guys, that's enough rambling for me. I've gone on for 33 minutes here, 34, and I think I should probably just end there. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, thank you for sticking it out. And hopefully the stuff that I talked about helps you in terms of making the most out of your hard-earned dollar. All right, guys, take it easy and have a good one.